Hello YouTube Cubers, DM Cubing, and today I present a little slideshow with a short video showing the arrangement of magnetic polarity throughout our do-it-yourself magnetic Waylong GTS project. I've had questions as far as like where the magnet should be pointing the north as opposed to the south pole on a magnet. As we all know, magnets have two poles, a north and a south pole, and these poles are attracted to each other. A north pole wants to stick to a south pole. As far as the pull strength is concerned, there's no difference between the south and the north side. They have an equal pull force. So it's not so important which side that we start with, like north facing to the right, etc. What's important is that within our modification here, we're placing 24 pairs of magnets. Each of those pairs, as the cube is orientated, as we're placing those pairs of magnets in the cube, each of those pairs are identically arranged in every repetition. I've got pictures here and I've got a little slide, uh, a little uh, video to show you. So just stay tuned and here we go. Okay, see here's the place right here where we're gluing pairs of magnets along this line that goes up each face of the cube in different directions. See, now we're reversing that same direction, same faces, but that same orientation right there. This is where the pairs of magnets are placed. Then we go to another face, another direction. See, it's just this area where the magnets are glued, just in this spot. And here I'm pointing at the top of the cube. See, right along here, that's where the pairs of magnets are placed. Okay, and here's the pair of magnets I'm talking about. There are 24 such groupings, these that are circled here. And this is representative of the polarity, where you'll have one pole to the extreme left, the opposite pole to the extreme right, and these pull towards each other. Now, we're not so necessarily concerned that the extreme left is true north. Uh, both north and south poles of the magnets have equal pull force. What we're concerned about is that the layout shown here is repeated over and over, that each grouping of magnets will have the same pull towards each other. So that's why it's important to repeat. I, I think of it as this one pair of magnets repeated 24 times throughout the cube. So you'll have one polarity all the way to the left, its opposite polarity all the way to the right, and then you maintain repeating that identical polarity 24 times throughout the cube. Here we see two faces of a cube and the polar representation of the magnets contained within the cube pieces. As you look around the cube, you'll notice that these pairs are repeated over and over and that their general orientation is repeated over and over. One pole on one side, its opposite pole on the other, here indicated by north on the left and south on the right. You can look at this photo from any angle, rotating it 90 degrees one way or 90 degrees the other way, and the relationship of the polarity remains the same. This is repeated throughout the cube. We're just seeing two faces here, but there are four other faces on the cube that have the same identical polar layout. I'll pause here so that you can study the picture. As we look again at the individual pair of magnets, as we zoom in closer, we can study each magnet's individual polarity with one pole on one side, its opposite pole on the other. Here again, indicated by north on the left side and south on the right side. And we can see how the opposites attract, the south pole attracting the north pole. So as long as you have this arrangement, this grouping of polarities repeated over and over in your cube, replicated over and over identically like this, your magnetic cube will perform flawlessly. I hope this answered some questions. If you have any additional questions, just drop them. Feel free to drop them in the comments, and I'll address them. Uh, thanks for watching, and happy cubing, guys. Talk to you later. <laughs>